What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of The Late Lake Show, where we take a look at the past week in Lakerland. Please enjoy, and be sure to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. The Lakers had some early trouble with the Cleveland Cavaliers early on, but they eventually made easy work of them, as they should. Even without Anthony Davis, the Lakers were dominant in the post behind another game full of alley-oop dunks from Dwight Howard. The game got so out of hand towards the end that he was able to show off all the threes he gets up after games, as he has now made three of his five three-point attempts on the season. You might be uh, interested to know that Ben Simmons has only made two out of his five attempts on the season, so Dwight Howard better than Ben Simmons? Who knows? The Lakers ultimately lost this one due to insane inconsistencies and some bad play from LeBron James with some even worse play from Kyle Kuzma. They still only lost by one though due to some insane runs from the Lakers including an 18-6 run to end the first half and a 22-2 run to end the third. These runs were almost entirely due to the bench players, specifically Quinn Cook and Troy Daniels who were making it rain all night. Although the game was disappointing as a whole, as the team lost to a sub-500 team for the first time, it was nice to see Cook and Daniels already at a moment's notice, as they don't ever get this type of playing time with the squad. Oh, threes please! <laughs> Threes, please. Uh. Oh, threes, please. Russell Westbrook was cooking the Lakers in the first half, going into the intermission with 22 points without even making a three, as he was mercilessly attacking the other Lakers guards, getting to the rim whenever he wanted. At half, Rajon Rondo presented a challenge to Kyle Kuzma, asking if he could guard Westbrook in the second half. Kuzma accepted the challenge while the entire Lakers team adjusted their defense against Westbrook, going to the ends of the earth to keep him in front of them and away from the rim. It worked, as Westbrook had 13 points in the second half and had to deflect to Harden and the rest of the Rockets, who had very poor shooting nights.
Thanks for watching the Late Lake Show presented by Lakers Outsiders. If you enjoyed this video and got even one bit of knowledge or even one little laugh from it, please do us a favor and hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Also, if you haven't already, go follow us on Twitter at Lakers Outsiders. Doing both of those will make sure you never miss an episode of the show and will keep you informed on all things Lakers. Thanks, guys. See you next time.